The new Kim Possible live action movie is out, and it's everything we wanted it to be. We've got an exclusive list of the major OMG moments from the new movie. Spoiler alert! If you haven't seen the movie, you may want to check it out first and then watch our video. You've been warned. Watch until the end for some bonus LOL moments from the film. Let's do this! Kim Possible producer Zane Devine compared the live-action movie to Wonder Woman, but she considers it to be the teenager-friendly version. That's an accurate description, as this is the ultimate girl power film. Kim not only saves the world right as the film opens, but she also saves her sidekick, Ron Stoppable, from a major explosion. A lot has changed since the cartoon series. One major difference is that we are living in the age of gender neutrality and inclusion, so Kim ditches the cheerleader pom-poms for a soccer ball. When Kim shows up on her first day at Middleton High, she is surprised when Bonnie tells her that there is no cheerleading squad. She said that at Middleton High, they are all about one thing, and that is soccer. And Kim has no problem crushing it at soccer tryouts, proving that this girl can excel at anything. There has been a lot of talk about Kim Possible's new mission outfit. Some fans were not happy about the new outfit for the fact that Sadie Stanley was cast as Kim. Some thought Sadie wouldn't be tough enough to defeat Shigo. Others wanted the old baggy pants and crop top from the cartoon back. But Sadie proved all the haters wrong. She trained in martial arts for months to prep for the role of Kim Possible. Her stunts are incredible in the film. She even referenced the costume update. In the film, her new friend, Athena, asks why she doesn't wear her old signature costume on missions anymore. Kim says she thinks that wearing the same thing all the time kind of felt cartoony after a bit. And boom! Just like that, she shut down the costume haters. Besides, it's kind of hard to fight crime with your midriff all exposed and vulnerable. You don't see Iron Man in a tube top. And when you're fighting Dr. Draken's evil henchwomen? That's right, we said henchwomen. Okay, now we can just talk about the new Kim Unicator for a second. Since the cartoon aired 17 years ago, there's a lot of new technology. So Kim and her crew got some impressive tech upgrades. First, Kim's not using her handheld Kim Unicator anymore. She now has a pendant on a necklace around her neck that allows her to communicate with Wade at the push of a button. When she pushes the button, a hologram shows up with various blueprints and cyber layouts. It's interactive and we have no clue how it works, but it's a super important element in Kim's crime fighting. Oh, and apparently there's something called Villainstagram, which Dr. Draken pulls up on his smartphone. It's like Instagram for villains, where they post sick pictures of all their impressive villain lairs. The film also introduces elements of cyberbullying. Dr. Draken films Kim stuck in an electric eel tank and blasts it out on the web. He's hoping she'll be made fun of with cruel memes. But back to the Kim Unicator. It also controls Kim's high-tech bedroom. With a touch of a button on her Kim Unicator necklace, Kim can open a wall in her bedroom to reveal her secret weapon stash. Not only does it store several grappling hooks, her jetpack, and her laser lip balms, it also has her old costume on display. After commenting on Kim's costume, Athena grabs Kim's laser lip balm, thinking it's actual lip balm, and nearly blows a hole in the wall with the laser. Kim also has a very stylish wardrobe, which is on a track that rolls out when she pushes a button. The production designer Rachel Myers drew inspiration from the iconic 90s movie Clueless. Kim's bedroom is a fun combo of high-tech gadgets and all the normal stuff you might find in in a teenage girl's room. Now we've got to discuss the notable cameos in the film. Of course, Rufus makes an appearance as the CGI animated rodent that hangs out in Ron Stoppable's backpack. Ron finds Rufus in a secret government lab and they instantly hit it off. The little guy even saves Kim and the gang from being vaporized by Draken's force field. It was pretty epic when he flew up in a drone that was remotely controlled by Wade to hit the power button on the force field. Another major cameo was Christy Carlson Roman who was the original voice for the animated Kim Possible show. In the film, Christy plays the pop star Poppy Blue. Christy said her character is pretty fun because she is giving Kim a ride to a mission. Since Kim doesn't have her driver's license yet, she had to rely on important people to give her rides. The biggest OMG moment of the film is at the end when we discover Athena is really a cyberhuman sent by Draken to steal Kim's spark. When Kim busts into Draken's lair, Athena reveals her true identity but then still warns Kim to get out before it's too late. Then Kim decides to rescue Athena from Draken's evil plot to steal her vitality. But the part when Athena saves Kim and sacrifices herself for the good of all humanity gave us all the feels. 
Kim Possible reminded us of the power of friendship and the importance of being who you are without getting caught up in an identity. In today's world of social media and portraying the perfect image all the time, it's a crucial message for young fans. The film also points out that it's actually harder to be a high school student than it is to save the world. That is 100% true. The Kim puns. Of course, we are all familiar with the classic puns like communicator, but they threw in a few funny ones in the film too. They call Athena Kimitation. Shigo even adds a pun calling Athena a computer. Sparkle slime. In the beginning, Dementor captures a scientist to make super disintegrating uber slime, but after it melts stuff, it turns pink and sparkly, which really ticks him off. Draken's Toilet Doll Draken has a lot of funny moments, but our favorite is in the beginning, when he is in a prison cell playing with a doll he made out of toilet paper tubes and makeshift red hair. It was gross and hilarious. So what was your favorite OMG moment from the Kim Possible live action film? Tell us in the comments! Don't forget to subscribe to The Things to be the first in line to see our videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time!